Hi, my name is Max and today we're going to talk about 20 New Zealand stocks that will perform better than others during a virus outbreak and what are the lessons we can learn from it. Disease experts say that a pandemic will happen again and despite the disruption to the economy, a virus outbreak tend to happen specific industries. And during this webinar, I'll tell you what you can learn from it. There are three main things that you can take away from this talk. Um, I'll explain you how to select a winning stock. And I'll give you a couple of reasons why this virus outbreak actually may happen to you. And, um, and it's not too far away. Uh, last but not least, um, I'll tell you what you should do during the virus outbreak. If you can hear me well, uh, um, please hit the like button. And so I know that um, you enjoy this content and you want to uh, find out more information like this in the next week. And feel free to type your comments below because we've got a lot of smart investors that are joining us live and they'll be able to answer your questions right now. Otherwise, I'll pick up some of the most relevant ones during the webinar or at the end during the Q&A session. I'll show you my screen. And what you can see here is somewhat a bulletproof portfolio of the most successful companies over the last six months. So I've created this portfolio of 20 New Zealand stocks. So these are not ETFs, but just New Zealand stocks. And I should also mention if you've joined us um, on Facebook, I am doing the slideshows on YouTube. And you can still ask me questions in the comments, I'll be able to answer them. But later at the end i will add a link uh, where you can see all the slideshows different charts how well you can still learn a lot during this conversation i've got a portfolio of 20 new zealand stocks and it just shows you what is performing well during the virus outbreak what kind of industries and I have tracked the performance of each stock from the 1st of January from the beginning of the year um, till today obviously and we can see that the most performing companies are cloud-based softwares um, like Pushpay and but actually i have never heard of this company solutions dynamics um, it seems to be a very small business under well ne nearly 30 million market cap but it performed very well uh, nearly 40 percent gain over the last six months and then obviously you heard about fish and pickle aft pharmaceuticals bliss technology a2 milk Chorus, Kingfish, so most of them are essential businesses or businesses that were able to continue to perform and deliver a service remotely. They didn't have to close down re like retailers. So why it's important? I'll show you another chart and it shows you that was it this one so this is the history of um, previous virus outbreaks while obviously they are not as damaging to the global economy or local economy like COVID-19 but uh, as you can see it's not once in a lifetime event it happened last year a couple of years ago Ebola the market did um, went down by 13 percent um, so we can see the damage of each virus outbreak from the past 
So chances are it's likely to happen again because um, at the moment we've got 7 billion roughly population and in the next 30 to 50 years we're gonna have at least 10 billion people living on this planet meaning more people more human errors because this is a, a kind of well one of one theory is that this current virus is a human made well not not a human made but it was transferred from a human to other people whether it was on purpose or it was some kind of conspiracy i'll leave it to you but um, most people believe it was um, a human error basically because it was preventable if um, all was followed by the rules another reason that uh, this virus outbreak will happen again i believe in my opinion you can actually type in the comments below uh, whether i'm right or wrong is that um, we've got intelligent people like elon musk jeff Bezos, and others trying to get into space it's not just for fun right they're not there to make money out of tourists they are they've got some information that we most of us probably are not ready <laughs> to understand but i believe they think that the time on this planet for us is gonna end sooner than we think because it's not just about the climate change but we people if you see what's happening in the news in the states it's a, it's a disaster uh, people um haven't even had enough time to enjoy after the lockdown but we've got another problems massive riots in the states um, so Jeff Bezos Elon Musk will colonize Mars and other planets because they believe um, we have a better chance to continue our population over there um, because of like COVID-19 see what happened this time so probably gonna happen again in the future um, also with people flying into space and there will be a lot more of us going into space meaning uh, well they're gonna mine Mar Mars other planets uh, they're gonna mine asteroids that means there is a bigger chance to bring these infections from space to New Zealand or to other countries so that's in a nutshell um, my couple of reasons why we're gonna have another massive virus whether it's a dead or not uh, in the near future so we have to be prepared and even with this current governments they've got such a big experience now with this current virus meaning that even if there is a slight hint of a second uh, wave of the virus we can actually see it's been reported uh, in the news um, japan is scared of the second wave and uh, there is another big spike in korea so there could be another second wave in new zealand so we're not immune to it so there are a lot of reasons why a virus outbreak will happen let's back to this go back to this portfolio w why are this company pe performing well first of all they are cloud-based the top two performers and they are tech-based companies push pay they offer um, digital payments to churches and solution dynamics they offer corporate communication with customers and other marketing uh, services to to their clients uh, you got healthcare stocks aft bliss and essential food supplies a2 milk 
PDG Wrightson, they also offer, um, I believe, some nutrition products to uh, rural customers. Then you've got your um, utilities, Chorus Internet, Kingfish. Be careful with the company names because I actually haven't researched this company before. But I was my first initial thought was it would, it would be like Sanford, the supplier of fish, but it's actually uh, an investment company. And I've highlighted this stock because Kingfish. Um, Google formula I just all this data is pulled out from Google Finance is showing that on the 1st of um, January this stock Kingfish uh, the share price was 1.3 dollars but I was actually quite surprised why such a, a company like an investment company would perform so well 26 percent uh, till today and then I looked up on Google Finance here, it does say 1.3, but when you look up on the official website of New Zealand Stock Exchange, the stock price was actually a lot higher, 1.6. So I'm not sure whether Google is registering some kind of insider trading. Um, feel free to type in the comments below whether I've done something incorrectly or why Google is showing. Uh, this lower price because the current price is correct the Google is showing Google Finance 1.64 and it's also uh, the same stock price on the official New Zealand Stock Exchange so the current price is correct I'd like to know from you why the historic price is not correct and it's only for this particular stock all other companies are correct as far as I can see then it's General Capital, that's another investment company, Catham Rock. They offer fertilizers to uh, our farmers. Lecture, that's a software, cloud-based uh, marketing company. SmartPay is another cloud-based, and the tech, that's New Zealand Stock Exchange. Tilt, that's your renewables. Convita, that's your health company well they offer uh, supplements infratil that's an investment company mercer group they offer some stainless steel products and the other two companies are also investment companies another thing that i've picked up from this analysis is that all all of them enjoy high price to earnings ratio which is which should be a warning sign to you because Warren Buffett and other wealthy people still follow the classic rule that a company shouldn't be valued unless there is a very good reason more than 20 um, PE price to earning ratio so it shouldn't have more than 20 price to earnings ratio obviously you have to look at other metrics that's not the most important well that's not the only one you have to look at the book and uh, price to book value um, earnings revenues history for the last five years um, you have to consider the mode actually I'll show you my checklist how I evaluate a company so I don't look only at the fundamentals I also look at the economic modes of each company there are main six economic modes the first one is the brand the trust think of pepsi and coke so i think is if the price went down by 30 percent of a well-known brand then there is a bigger chance i'd be interested to research continue researching it but if it's some just startup or the company has been trading only for one or two years uh, and it doesn't have a big brand or trust I would skip it because there are a lot more opportunities and it's better wait and um, get this bargain especially nowadays then the second mode switching how easy it is to switch network effect how um, uh, 
convenient for the customer is to be within and use this company, say Facebook, it's a lot harder to go from one network to another. Obviously, you you have to consider monopoly, secrets, patents, and price advantage. And after that, I would look at the fundamentals, uh, well, quantitative fundamentals like, as I said, uh, earnings, cash flows. The second tip that I will um, give you how to select a stock is to follow our influences, investor influences. Warren Buffett declared that he sold all his US Airlines shares. What does it tell you? That he's got resources and he's got very smart team um, that obviously they, they've they made a conclusion that airlines will suffer for a long time and he made a loss when he sold it he made a loss and he obviously he's a public figure he's not gonna do it lightly uh, therefore you probably have to think twice before you invest in another airline if Warren Buffett was prepared to lose billions um, you have to think twice when you invest your thousands so follow what other smart people do. And then if it's cheap, it doesn't mean it's a bargain and you should invest. Yes, there are a lot of, especially real estate companies. It's very hard to go wrong with a real estate company because they've got an asset, tangible asset. So there are like retirement villages, shopping malls. That's something I would probably consider more um, if it's below its net tangible value, be below its book value. But if you think about retailers that went down by 50%, 70%, it doesn't mean it's a bargain, even though it looks cheap compared to, say, even uh, six months ago. But remember what happened to Smith City. They were they, they, they just about to go bankrupt. Um, Yes, the price went down by 50% and um, but it doesn't mean you should rush to buy it. The next thing that um, this coronavirus outbreak taught me is that US stock market is actually a good sign to what is going to happen to the New Zealand stock market. There is a lag of about one or two days. So if you quick enough, quick enough and you uh, enjoy following the stock markets, news from um, overseas, you can pick up some bargains. Um, because if the investors in the States would start selling the stock because of the fear of some other reasons, um, they are likely to push to push the sell button for the other stock exchanges like Australia and New Zealand. There are at least 30 to 50 percent offshore investors here, so they have to, if they have to sell their positions, um, for example, they have to reinvest every well not everything but a lot of their money to more defensive stocks, gold, bonds, or something else they'll have to sell some of their positions here in New Zealand. If they start doing it in the States, most likely it will happen here in New Zealand. All right, um, tell me what, what, has, have, what have you learned during this uh, virus outbreak? Well, what's your the best performing investment so far? I'd be curious to know. Um, What did you do during the virus outbreak? Is it have you experienced anything like this um, before, like GFC? Did you did you buy or sell anything during 2009 or 2000s dot com bu bubble? All right, so 
I think I've covered the main points here and I'm gonna see uh, if you've got anything uh, to comment during this webinar I appreciate if you um, follow my page and uh, subscribe to this channel because I will do another webinar next week I will um, speak about how and when to sell a stock what, what, what is the checklist I follow uh, before I sell a company uh, I've actually sold um, several stocks um, in when was it in February and in March I've actually made a, a, a quite a big mistake um, I've invested in one transport company thinking that it would uh, do well but then I realized that um, the country will be in the lockdown so I had to sell my stock because they're gonna uh, make a lot of losses thank you for your questions uh, could you um, uh, hold on one person on Facebook is asking Louise is asking could you name your top three companies and why you have picked them also how long are you investing for so I've been investing since uh, 2010 I, I was more like a passive investor since 2010 but I was actively investing since 2015 in uh, we had an, a small investment club uh, with, a f with our friends and uh, it's a lot easier actually to make a decision when you've got other like-minded people so I highly recommend you to uh, join some kind of group there are, there are plenty of um, useful groups free groups on meetup or Facebook my top three picks would be retirement villages because I think long term uh, 10 20 30 years we've got aging population this um, retirement villages they've got a lot of economic modes um, and at the moment some of them are trading below their book values and uh, population will grow so that there are a lot of signs um, that retirement villages will do well in the next five ten or even longer so I'm not gonna name the actual stocks because I'm not a registered financial advisor and I don't want you to uh, buy or sell this just because I mentioned that and you have to make your own uh, decision you have to do your own research and obviously seek an independent financial advice Keith is saying he sold all his shares in November Wow well done you've got a crystal ball Keith um, and he's bought some sky shares he bought them for 12 cents well I hope they're not gonna be five cents in the next six months you have to be very careful because I don't believe sky TV will actually survive um, compare like you think about Netflix and Amazon and Disney they've got they've got a lot more content arguably better content content but maybe you've got some other knowledge that I'm not aware of Hartland Bank Alice is saying the yes um, I agree Hartland Bank has been perform performing better than other uh, stocks uh, bank stocks uh, Westpac and Z mm, they've got uh, profit margin of, of over nearly 40 percent and they've been growing I think at least 20 percent per year so they've got a uh, very attractive earnings to uh, earnings growth thank you for your questions if you enjoyed this kind of information uh, please hit the like button make sure you follow my page and channel because next week I'm gonna be talking about how to sell the stock how to sell the company what checklists I follow before I sell it and what I do uh, with the cash um, also I'll show you another thing uh, that um, actually there was an article a recent article I can't find it right now but Warren Buffett has a big pile of cash he's got 137 
billion dollars that he is gonna use very soon to get a mega purchase he's publicly mentioned that and the reason he's doing that because it we are not out of the woods yet i agree with him a lot of people agree with that idea that market is not what we're actually seeing in real life a lot of fund managers are trying to uh, buy stocks that went down by 50 percent or your travel stocks tourism stocks uh, cru uh, cruise lines but yeah it just doesn't make sense because we haven't even hit the peak of the unemployment in all these countries we've got the biggest uh, piles of debt the population have ever had in the history and we don't know how we're gonna pay for it so who is who is to say we we're gonna grow and we're not gonna have another crisis in the next uh, six to twelve months remember we have a limited time before the wage subsidy will continue and after that a lot more people will go uh, unemployed a lot more companies will close because they don't have enough money to pay wages this is when um, the shit will hit the fan so i believe uh, in six months we will see if we are on the recovery path or we're gonna have another stock meltdown simon is saying in facebook comments he missed tourism holdings at 55 cents well if you believe it's gonna grow like it was in december last year then maybe it's still a good time to enter and if it's gonna grow by another 30 percent why not but um, yeah you have to people I, I i used to do it myself i, I just I, we had a, an anchor price of each company say oh um a new zealand was three dollars just six months ago now it's one dollar it's a bargain no it's not a bargain because they don't have a revenue they don't have any customers all their planes are sitting and doing nothing so one dollar i believe is even is expensive um, therefore it's not just the price it's the fundamentals of the company Keith is saying uh, the second and third quarter financials are going to be ugly for many companies. Why is the market rising debt cap bounce? No, it's not just the cap debt cap bounce. It's um, I read I read some interesting articles um, by experienced investors saying that fund managers they competing against each other. They've got billions of dollars. They can't just have them sitting doing nothing. So they're um, most of them are buying because they have to they have to they've got short-term goals and they have to buy so they can yeah, show it to, to do a report for their uh, manager or their clients that <laughs> they are working for them so this is one of the reasons that marketing is just going wild I think I will um, finish at this point. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your questions. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I think it's uh, quite a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, if you want to see this chat, let me know. I will send you a link. Just uh, leave a comment. If you've got any other questions, feel free to type them right now or later and I'll pick them up. Thank you for thank you very much for your time and talk to you soon.